Howdy y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing an update on my Years of Usage product pan. I'm pretty sure this is the third update, but I could be wrong. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get into it so it's not too long. Um, so, oh, by the way, in case you don't remember, um, my goals for this project or are for every shade in this project, I either want to hit pan or hit 21 uses in that shade, and both of those are goals. Um, so as I hit goals, I'll highlight them on my tally sheet. And then once they're highlighted, I don't have to work on that shade anymore. Uh, and recently I've been thinking um, about like next year. And just because I put, let's see, two, four, six, eight. I have eight palettes in this project. That's obviously like a pretty lofty goal to use every shade 21 times. Um, and so I kind of did it with the intention that it, some might roll over into next year anyway, but I wasn't really sure how I was going to go about next year. I guess uh, I thought it would just depend on like how far I got along with it this year. But I think I've decided that for next year I am going to go ahead and um, roll this project over and add an additional palette to it. Maybe more by then, I don't know, just like one for sure. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about that later, but for next year what I'm going to do is kind of like basically when you move it to the next year, since it's years of usage, instead of having a usage goal of 21, it'll be a usage goal of 22. But all of the progress that I've made towards those 22 uses so far will still count. So I, I might still have to only get like six uses out of a shade or whatever, if, if that makes sense. And um, I was debating like completely restarting the project and having to start all over from 22, but I think like, um, this will just be a lot less pressure and that way I can kind of um, participate in other eyeshadow products uh, projects as well. Like I think I want to do a pan that palette for um, next year out of my single shadows um, along with this project. So it just gives me more room to like work on other shadows that aren't in this project because I do have some others. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's kind of kind of my plan for next year in case you were curious. Probably not, but whatever. Um, so my goal for the last, um, that I stated for the last update was to hit um, a goal in at least five shades and I actually hit a goal in six. That being said, I it has been well over a month since my last update. So it's not like, I guess it's kind of cheating. Like it's not like it's like I hit all that in one month. I actually hit like two of the six at, in the last two days. So I don't know. But anyway, um, sorry, my hair looks weird oh well anyway uh yeah so I don't know I'm still proud of my progress and there was about like the reason why it took me so long to update is because there was a period of like two to three weeks where I wasn't wearing makeup at all because I was just you know depressed and I had a lot going on um uh, but now I'm kind of like back in the game and yeah so for Novena I hit one of my goals in base and it's just this cream shade. I used it to set my eyeshadow primer. And um, there is quite a good dip there, but it's like a big, like big in diameter dip because I just use like a giant um, brush to set my eyeshadow primer. And sometimes I'll mix it in with the like darker transition shades um, just to lighten it up just cause I'm really fair skinned. And then I did make progress. I, I've used every other shade in this palette at least once. I took this on a trip with me to Tulsa and Dallas recently for my brother, um, visiting my brother. And, um, I found that I really love this palette for travel because I feel like you can use like this has, you can create a look for out of this for every occasion. And I really love it. Um, if I was able to like change the palette, I would take out the shade eccentric, which is like the orangey shade and move passion over and then have a deeper, like a super deep purple, like deeper than this, like that was like nearly black or like, like, I don't know. I just think it needs a deeper shade. Like not only, um, like, and that's a lot for me to say cause I'm fair skinned, but like, I feel bad for like people of color who like have darker skin because this is just not catered to them, which is fine because whatever, like this is Norvina created this and she's like my skin tone, whatever. But at the same time, like even me, like being as pale as I am, like wishes there was a darker shade so I could use it as like a liner or whatever, but oh well. Yeah, I really do love this palette. And um, in case you're curious, I will hold up the tallies. So as you can see, I've made pretty good progress. Um, and yeah, uh, 
I'm trying to think if I want to try to hit a goal on any of these by next update. Honestly, not really. Like, I just want to use this palette naturally. It is one of my favorite palettes in my collection, so I think I will just, like, naturally use it. And I don't want to, like, put pressure on myself to, like, try to hurry up on it. So for Sultry, I hit two um, usage goals. I hit um, 21 uses in Dystopian, which is this dark brown. You can kind of see a good dip there. I mostly use it as a liner. Um, so that's why there's like kind of a pointed dip. It's not like, I do also use it like um, in the outer corner and stuff like that though. So it's not like um, I only use it as a liner. And then also I hit usage goal in Birch. And you cannot really see any, well, you can see progress, but like, it's crazy because like this does not look like because I'm pretty sure people always say that um, 88 shadows like pan super fast and they're super powdery blah 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 which sure they are but I think I just have a really light hand because like and I do use a fluffy brush with this shade birched but you just like can't really see a dip or anything like that even though I've used it 21 times and then as you remember in the last update I already had a hit goal on pearl and um, I'm only one um, use away from hitting goal on fresh so that'll definitely be hit in the next update um and honestly like I might if I redo my makeup tonight which that's a possibility I could hit that goal tonight so we'll see um but after I after I hit my usage goal on the like cream shadows in my palettes I'm gonna like switch over because I have like a giant like other other cream shadows that are older than these that I want to use first and plus I like having like if I do go travel like I like just having like it already in the palette and then yeah I have made pretty significant progress on other shades as well like uh nor I I kind of thought I might have hit go uh might be hitting gold but I didn't I'm I've got um 17 uses on it so I just need like four more yeah I need four more uses to hit gold on that so hopefully by next update, I'll have two more goals hit in this as well. It'll be Noir and um, Fresh, which are the two most boring shades in the palette because they're, like, basic. But, I mean, I have been making progress on others, so that's okay. It just makes me happy that I'm finally starting to see some, like, goals hit. I've used a... Sorry, there's a hair, like, a dog hair in here. I'm trying to get it out. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really remember what all else I've used... I think I've used most other shades at least once, if not more. Ah, sorry, it's hard. I'm not, if I was a good YouTuber, I would like post a picture of this on the screen, but I hate editing with a passion, so I'm too lazy for that. But yeah, this is kind of what it's looking like. It's crazy, cause, uh, but if I'm being honest, I didn't really like, the, the tallies on here account for most of the usage on this palette. So it's not like I had a ton of usage on it before. Oh, I also wanted to mention that, um, I forgot to mention Nor Norvina, that I've been using Volatile a lot, so there was a lot of usage on that, but anyway. Um, anyway, on, uh, Sultry, like, before I started the project, I had already had a lot of usage on Norvina, but this, um, on, what do you call it? Sorry, my light went out. Um, on this one, this is kind of like all it is, so. But I have enjoyed it, and I really enjoy this palette in the winter, especially, so, oh, or maybe like even fall. So, I'm not going to pressure myself to work on this other than the Fresh and Nora shade, because um, I just want to go ahead and hit some usage goals. And I think I already showed this, but as you can see, I've already got, this is the palette that has the most like usage goals, I think, but. Yeah, I'm happy because, like, I can actually see color now. Like, this is the first month where there's been a lot of color on my page. Um, I'm not going to talk about Pure too much because I've only used it once. I, I used the shade Rebel once. Um, but, that being said, I did make a Franken... If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see I made a Franken blush for my aunt who I live with. And I did... Um, I wanted it to be deeper. So, I scraped off... Um, some of this shade to add into it to deepen the color but I was really careful not to like scrape off any that was like in the dip so that the dip would be like natural hitting pan and it wasn't because I scraped it but I don't know if you can really tell there's like kind of scrape marks in the around the perimeter um but yeah that's I'm happy that I got rid of some of that color because I do enjoy that color but 
I have I have another shade similar to this in my Jaclyn Hill palette that um, that I can also use, and I'm happy that I got rid of some of it. But yeah, um, this was gonna be my um, pen in that palette for this year, but then I thought of this project and I was like, oh, that sounds more fun. So yeah, um, I'm not really close to any usage goals on this because I haven't really used it that much, but I do think I'm really close to hitting Pan and Rebel. So if I decided to actually like work on it, I could probably hit pan by the next update, but I'm not going to put pressure on myself to do that. That's just like an if it happens. So yeah, that's not really a focus palette for next time. Um, I did hit my usage goal in seashell from the Becca palette, which is the cream shade. Let me get it open. So you can see there's like a pretty decent dip right there. Um, and I have used that one 21 times. And, um, after I finish my Franken, um, cream shades that I'm going to use to set my lid, um, or actually even before I start on the giant Franken, I have a little, I have a little one that I need to use up first that's old and that'll probably take me like three or four months. But after I finish that, I'm going to start working on, um, this and like trying to actually, like hit pan and finish this up even before I do my Franken because I want to be able to like press another shade into this palette and um, this is really densely packed so it's going to last me quite some time even when I do start working on it but um I have I, I think I said the last update that I wanted to try to get more use out of this palette in general and I have gotten quite a bit of use Sp shade spirit quartz got um at least a few uses this one did and this one did and then, no, not this one, this one. Um, I did use this a couple times, but I used these three shades the most. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I'm really happy with my progress on that. And I'll just see if I reach for it naturally. Um, but we'll see. I'm not, I know it's because uh, I feel like I'm saying this about every palette I've shown so far, but I keep saying, oh, this isn't a focus palette for next time. But if I naturally want to reach for it, I will. But I just have another thing in mind that I want to focus on. So, in case you wanted to see these um, side by side, which you probably don't care because I barely used it this time. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't. I actually did use it a good amount of time. This is one of the only um, duochromes in my collection, so I really like um, this. And I really enjoyed pairing this with um, Volatile from the Norvina palette that I showed you. It just, like, pairs perfectly because they're, like, cool-toned. Okay. Next up is Jaclyn Hill Morphe. I always use this palette a ton. Um, I mean, for one for one thing, there's like a ton of shades to pick from, so it's easy to use a lot. But also just because like, I don't know, I just like gravitate towards it. I enjoy this palette and I've really enjoyed getting to just like start seeing dips develop. So that's part of the reason. I hit two goals on this one in this update. I hit a goal on a light, which you can tell there's a really big dip there. Um, and I would use this as an inner corner, but along with that, sometimes I will use it over my lid. Um, I didn't use it today, but similarly, like I'll put, like today I'm wearing um, Royalty, and then I topped it with Faint to lighten the, the purple, because the, the Royalty is just too dark for me. And so I used it in light for similar purpose to do that with like other colors to lighten it and make it more wearable. And I really like doing that trick. So that's why it's not just like a pinpoint dip from like an inner corner. And then I'm going to start working on beam as, as like a similar way. And also, um, as an inner corner highlight because it only has two uses, but I'm not going to like pressure myself to do it. I just like, that's going to be my new possibly that will be my new go-to inner corner highlight shade and what else <sighs> getting out of breath this is a long video anyway um but there is already a dip there and that dip came from um I one day I did like a I was going to some like Hispanic party I can't remember the name of it oh day of the dead and everyone like paints skulls on their face and I meant to bring a white eyeliner and I was like doing my makeup in the car and I forgot my white eyeliner to use for the teeth. And so I had to use um, beam for the teeth. So that's why it has such a big dip already. So I guess there is potential to hit pan, but I'm not hopeful for it because I don't think it's gonna happen. And then the other usage goal I hit in this was chip. 
which I use primarily for a liner, but I also use it as a deepening outer corner shade. I just hit that goal today. Um, I don't know if you can even tell, but I have like some brown in my outer corner and that's chip. So yeah, I really enjoy this palette. Um, I've noticed I've been gravitating towards faint a lot um, as an inner corner shade and as a topper shade like I use today. And what else do I gravitate towards? Oh, I really been gravitating towards Central Park. So since I hit my goal on chip, and I primarily use that as a liner. I'll start using Central Park as my next like liner shade. And I really, I think I said in the last update that I noticed how cool toned it is and I really love how cool toned it is. Mocha, I'm getting close on. I just need, okay, let's see. Three, four more uses on Mocha to hit, to hit a usage goal. So that's really exciting. And then Enchanted, I already have, is, well actually Silk Cream. I think I could hit a usage goal in by next time because I need six, seven more uses out of it so that's another possible like goal I could hit so yeah that kind of thing I'll hold up this in case you want to see I think I haven't used all the shades uh, at least once past since the last update but you can tell I have um, gotten a ton of use on this palette and um, the reason that this is like whited out is because I I had like it marked for a different project but that project's over so yeah you can see this is like satisfying for me to look at because you can tell there's tons of usage so yeah for the next update i do want to attempt to hit goal in um mocha which i'm really close on and then also oh what else oh silk cream i'm really close on that one and then i don't necessarily want to hit goal because it's like i still got a ways to go but i want to make progress on beam and faint and I've been trying to use uh, Sissy and Little Lady more, too, because um, I just, like, I don't know. I feel like whenever I have to do something where I don't care if I look that great. Like, I do like the shades. They're pretty shades. But, like, I just kind of use them, like, because, like, when I'm actually, like, going out or something, I want to do, like, an elaborate look. Like, I would not pick those shades. So, these are more, like, everyday type of shades for me. So, I'll try to, like, gravitate towards those a little bit more. You can see I only have, like, a few like less than five uses on each so I think I can bump that up so basically beam all these pink so basically like the top row plus uh, mocha is gonna be my focus and I have been trying to reach for like um the more colorful shades actually I haven't used twerk at all so maybe that's the only shade in this palette that I haven't used at least once so I think I'll I want to use this at least once and I can use it similarly to how I used um, the royalty today and just top it with like a lighter shade to um, make it more wearable all right BH Zodiac is kind of like always the forgotten guy I, I, I think I've used it like twice um, so there's no real changes but I don't know if you can tell um, my aunt uh, is getting older and so she she like all literally every single eyeshadow she owned was shimmer and she just like went through a phase where she doesn't want to own any more shimmer eyeshadows so she basically like decluttered a bunch um of hers and she was gonna buy a, like a matte um palette but i was like hey like i have so much makeup that it's ridiculous like i have enough eyeshadow last me 10 years i will give you some of mine you can pick out whichever shade you want and i'll like make a little tiny palette for you because she doesn't wear makeup every day it's like once a week and she's like okay cool so this is one of the shades she picked and I I took out exactly half of the shade to give to her and I kept half for myself because I do like the shade and I repressed it so that it because it was going to bother me if it was like I don't know just didn't look cohesive and so I think you can tell that that one's like quite a bit like less empty but yeah I, I wouldn't mind if she wanted to do that um with like some other shades or whatever because I don't really care that much about this palette I do like the shimmers but the mattes I'm just like I like them but like I don't know, it's not like I'm going to cry if I lose half a shade, you know. So that's why I like specifically showed her this palette to pick from because I just, I don't mind decluttering some of it, you know. And I will keep, I'll keep it, like I enjoy them, but I just, you know, like it's not going to hurt me to lose half of it, a shadow. Um, And then here's this in case you were wondering. I have used it a few times, I don't remember exactly which, which shades I gravitated towards, but... All right, and then I have made a ton of progress in my Take Me Back to Brazil. 
Um, probably doesn't look like it because there it's not like an actual buy a ton of progress. I don't mean like I've used shades like a ton of times, but my kind of goal was to try to start using like every shade, like getting used out of kind of every shade. And I think I really have made a lot of progress towards that goal. For next um, update, I want to use every shade at least once. So like I still have to hit P3, um, Y3, and B4. And those are the only three I haven't used once yet. And then other than that, I do wanna just continue to get like usage in this palette overall, just because I think this palette is best suited for spring and summer and we're currently in spring obviously. So this is like the best time to use it. And I've been enjoying it. I used um, these two purple shades, I2 and I3 today on my look. It doesn't look the best, but I don't really care. I like, I'm not really, I'm just running errands today, so. If I was, like, going out, I wouldn't do a look like this. Like, I like, like, for days like this where I'm just, like, running errands and don't care that much about my look, I just try to, like, play with, like, things that I don't typically play with. But I do, I, I do use this for going out and everything. I just, um, yeah, today is not one of those days. But, yeah, I enjoy this palette a lot. And it's my only colorful palette, so it's definitely necessary within my collection. So this is going to be one of my focus palettes, um, for next update. And then the, um, this, I'm not going to spend much time on because I only used it once or twice. I used the shade Sinful twice and I didn't touch the other shades, but you can tell that you can kind of see some usage on Sinful. That's my favorite shade in this palette, but I haven't used the other ones at all. So here's the tallies on that so far. And then that was, that's the last palette in my project. But, um, my friend did, um, uh, I think in February or so, my friend decluttered this um, Tati palette to me and I wasn't gonna add it into my project cause I do and plan on adding it into my project um, next year for my 2022 years of usage. Um, but uh, it was kind of like, I just don't wanna be overwhelmed next year and I'm not like, don't get me wrong, I'm not um, like, what do you call it? This isn't in the project so I'm not really like, um, like consciously trying to reach for it, but I do actually still reach for it, like on occasion, obviously, um, especially for the glitters because this is like very unique to my collection. I don't have anything else like this. Um, it's a beautiful palette. So I did go ahead and write down like a couple days ago, um, all this whole palette. And even though it's not in my project and I'm not gonna be updating it past this update, I just wanna go ahead and start making tallies of like when I do use it that way next year I have like a little, I'm a little bit less overwhelmed with it. And I think like the majority of those usage will be on the glitters. But that being said, like it's a neutral palette. So next year when I do start using it, it's like I can use it every day. It's not like a hard palette to use and it's really beautiful. So I'm excited. Yeah, it's just really beautiful. Even though it's not in the project. I'm excited for it to be in the project next year. But yeah. I thought it would be less overwhelming if I started like making a tiny bit of progress on it. But yeah, that's the last thing I needed to say. So as a reminder, I don't really have like a, I guess I could make a goal of how many shades I want to hit. Um, so I did want to hit Sultry, uh, Fresh, and Noir. So there's two. And then I didn't really have any goals for these. Um, and then in Jaclyn Hill Morphe, I wanted to hit Silk Cream and Mocha and make progress on a bunch of others, but there's only those guaranteed. And then, um, yeah, that's that's all that I like have to hit goal on, but obviously it would be nice to hit more than that. But I think I'm just gonna say, my goal for next time is to hit four um, usage goals, and then um, just make progress overall on everything else. And like my focus palettes, are going to be Take Me Back to Brazil and, let's see, yeah, Jaclyn Hill. These are two are gonna be my two focus palettes um, for next update. So I appreciate you watching, I'm sorry it was so long, but there's just like a lot I need to cover in this video. So anyway, have a wonderful blessed day and um, uh, please talk to me in the comments and goodbye.